Yes, here we are. Surprise, surprise. I, 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 we're, this is a little unexpected treat. I'm in, I wasn't expecting to be in Ireland today, but here I am. My glasses are crooked because I'm so excited. My, my hair is changing colors. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> How Welcome are you guys to doing? Ireland. We're good. We're good. How are you getting on, Dan? I'm, I, I mean, I'm always uh, pleased to hear your, your lovely voices and see your uh, beautiful faces. So for me, the, the pleasure is all mine. <laughs> and uh, we were just talking about your up and coming class on Monday and that you're doing a series. And uh, I, I was point, I want, I want you to show the creative uh, logo that you have for the oh, series. Just for this particular class. Yeah. So CMT corrective manual therapy. I don't know if you can see that it's A and P at the end because Very a lot stylish. of what we want to do with this series is we're going to talk a and p now it's not it's not all anatomy and physiology but we put together these little videos that we're putting out on social media that kind of clue people in a little bit more to what the structures are in a particular area what their relevance is how they impact different things different types of dysfunction and then the class is all about assessing treatment and home retraining for that particular dysfunction and tell what what is the what is the main focus for for Monday going to be? Monday is talar dysfunction, so the talus down in the ankle. I mean, some people you say talus and they're not even sure what you're talking about. They're like, you I know, thought like you were talking talisman? about some kind of snack. So yeah, that's what I say. Like some people are, are kind of like the the what, and yet when you think about it, this is the main joint for moving through the world. You know, you've got to have the proper degree of motion. The tibia has to be able to roll forward on the talus in order for us to get our center of gravity far enough forwards across our foot to actually walk, run, whatever we want to do. So I, if it's jammed, you ain't going nowhere. You're not going anywhere. And it's funny because I, I was on the floor yesterday seeing clients. Uh, I had to fill in and uh, this woman came in and she was like, oh, my hips my hips, my hips. And to my, I, I'm, I'll be embarrassed and say, I, 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 I just, I saw the hips. I thought hips, I thought maybe getting things in her shoulder. You know, I thought up there, I thought mm -hmm. a little bit of legs, you know, but I didn't look at her feet with no shoes on. And so I got done all this stuff. And then uh, when I uncovered her leg and I saw her foot, yeah. I was like, no wonder everything hurts because she had a huge, the bunions, her foot was, her toes were pointing, uh, not up, but this way, like yeah. total wrong direction on both feet. And I'm thinking, how could someone tell you that you're having problems with your hips? Yeah. <laughs> like you're not having problems with your hips. Had yeah. they looked at your feet for the love of God, you know, like, so I think that too, without motion in your, your ankle, you're going to have the, it's all, I really, the more I don't, I get my hands on people, you know, mm -hmm. I've been away for a while and I got my hands on her and I saw her feet. I was like, yeah, it's a revelation. How could, I mean, how, what, what? <laughs> What's but going on? The, there? the other way to look at that is, isn't the human body amazing that that lady can still walk it with is. what we would see as, you know, significant deviation from what might be the optimal or ideal. And yet the human body manages. So that's a lot of what we're going to talk about as well, kind of the typical compensation patterns. So you may not particularly notice my ankle is jammed up, but you'll notice I've got a bunion or I'm getting plantar fasciitis, or I'm getting knee pain because I've got a pivot on my foot. People have like a lot of callusing kind mm -hmm. of at the base of the first or second or third metatarsal because they have to pivot excessively because they've got a twist from the knee in order to get their weight forward because the ankle is jammed up. It's a bit mm -hmm. like people saying, you know, my shoulders are tight and yet they've got a forward shoulder posture. You go, no, 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 no. These muscles are weak. So where the pain is, isn't usually where the cause is. So the ankle being jammed up is the cause, but you may feel symptoms in your toes or your knees or your hip or your low back. And then once that starts moving again, your body learns a new pattern. It gets out of its old compensation. Pressure comes off those tissues and hey, presto, your back improves, your knee pain improves. Oftentimes these things need direct work. So that's why I say it's not wrong to work her hip where her hip is a problem. Right. But then when you see what's happening with the feet, you go, oh, I need to work your hip and your knee and your ankle. Because there's no, like, yeah, that I could work on your hip all day long, but with your feet in the, that shape. Uh, Allison, I know you were going to say something. I saw it. 
Did you have yeah, something? Yeah, no, I just, I, I love reflexology, so, and I do uh, yes. a lot of foot reading as well. So mm. there's just a whole load of significance around what the toes are doing and what they represent. And the talus we often call like the linchpin of the body, that if the talus is fixated, that it literally stops you um, moving forward in life. So there's a whole, uh, a whole do it. Of tell me, tell me more. Esoteric things do it. that are represented. Do it. I'm going to save it for Monday's class. No. That's why you oh, need to sign up. Oh gosh, that was a good one too. Yeah. There's a whole lot of metaphysical stuff around that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So So it's going to be really interesting. And I do think that the the kind of the coming together of soft tissue work, which most people in the massage field are amazing at, but looking at how joints are moving as well. For a lot of people, that's a whole new skill. Mm -hmm. And yet I think you have some disciplines within body work that focus almost too much on joints and then other disciplines that focus too much on soft tissue because everybody's got both. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you got to really pay homage to both. You've got to address both if there's dysfunction there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Huh? Yeah, some really great techniques though. <laughs> that um, I've just I broke my ankle when I was like ten years old and um, had some misalignment, and every so often it'll just jam up or I'll step awkwardly and it'll twinge, and I go, oh, that ankle, and then Aubrey will do his stuff and maneuver it back and get the talus moving again and it's perfect for months and months and months I kind of go you don't have to live with pain restriction or discomfort there's so much you can do and I think too part of one of the first steps for our clients and maybe even some of us is awareness you know I I really honestly uh, for years into my practice I didn't even think of uh, the ankle being having a large effect on my day-to-day my hips the way that I move or any of that so too I think a lot of people aren't even aware because you know you'll you'll take the client's foot and try to move it and it's like they're having a battle with you yeah it's like they the almost control. don't know how they don't even know how to let go of to let you move yeah. their foot. So I think sometimes clients and, and people aren't even aware that that's happening. But I think that's the important part that we're going to start off with the soft tissue work so that you calm down the nervous system first. You normalize the tissue texture and then joints will start moving. I mean, I'm sure you've had this experience. I've had clients that are like, well, oh, you can't touch my feet. They're too ticklish. And I'll be like, okay, we'll start on the calf. And as you're working, everything is calming down and you get down into the ankle and then you're on the foot. You're working your way up towards their toes and they suddenly realize, how are you working my foot? (laughs) (laughs) Nobody can touch my feet. How are you touching my feet? Yes, it's so true. These things are changeable. You know, you're not Mm -hmm. stuck with anything. You're not stuck with chronic pain. You're not stuck with sensitivity. You're not stuck with excessive ticklishness or any of those kinds of things. They are dynamic. They're neurological responses that can change. Mm-hmm. really quickly mm, sometimes really quickly you both times said that getting off the table is like oh that's it it feels like a new ankle oh, yeah. like it, kind of, it is it yeah. really yeah. kind of is but this yeah. is like after two or three minutes work i'm kind of going oh there it is perfect mm-hmm. that's the stuff it can it can be very very quick to respond in the vast majority of clients yeah and we should keep our eyes open because this isn't the last no, this is the first. <laughs> so this is a series we're going to do. And I really want to get feedback from people as to what do they want to see? Because we always feel, you know, there's a wealth. We could talk for hours and hours about any other work. I hadn't noticed. <laughs> I hadn't noticed at all. No. <laughs> uh, so like uh, I had somebody on YouTube recently asking about wrist pain. So it's was like, oh, OK, well, I have in mind while we're in the ankle, we'll probably do the next one on the foot or we might go up into the knee. But then after that, we might go to a totally different area of the body like the wrist and look at, well, what are the common dysfunctions? How are you going to assess those? How do you know if the person has the issue that you think it is? And then what are you going to do about treating it? And then how are they going to do home care to maintain that? So that's kind of the, the format, the structure that each of these classes are going to take. But we're open to anything. So there'll be different aspects. People will say, oh, I've got somebody with you know, something unusual, like a funny elbow or, you know, whatever it might be. So we'll mm-hmm. look at those different aspects because there's so many, I mean, the body is complex in some ways, but there's so many shortcuts. And that's really what we want to equip people with the shortcuts to do really effective, fast responding, amazing therapy that your clients are just going to absolutely love. Allie? Yeah. 
Yeah, no, I, I, I just think like these kind of micro classes, sometimes an experienced therapist is like, oh, I don't really want to go back to school and commit to a year, two years or so on. But, you know, if I can jump into a class on that little bit that I need, get a refresher on it, see the anatomy again, pick up a few new techniques, get a couple of stretches to give my clients. It's just a really fast, punchy way to kind of get a good review, get a few new tips to bring to your clinic and you know it's inexpensive and mm. it's only like uh, an hour and a quarter hour and a half of your time right so say that again so, nuggets. <laughs> yeah let's let's bring that uh, point up again the class is an hour and a half long it's mm -hmm. under a hundred dollars it's yeah, 59 dollars so yeah. i mean come on now yeah <laughs> You know, you can jump in anytime and you have life access to the recording afterwards. So yeah. you can watch it over and over and over again and pick up something new each time you watch the pass. Yeah. And as well, like, I mean, people are joining live so you can ask questions as we go. So if you've got somebody at home that you're working on, you can go, oh, well, I'm seeing what way have you got your hand there? Can you show that again? So it's very much like being in the classroom. This is the response we keep getting from our guys doing virtual training with us, that they're amazed at how much they get out of it in terms of they go, I, I honestly forgot I wasn't in the class. You know, when the, when the, I have when to we, say when that's finish, true. Yeah. When we finish, you're like, oh, I'm at home. <laughs> with the with the, I, th I found with the, the both of you, you really are kind of almost becoming experts at having the live in the classroom and then on screen and catering to both and making sure everybody feels like they're there. I got to give you a shout out on that, uh, that that's the truth. Uh, you're getting really good at that. Really good oh, at it. So thank you. Check it's, out the it's class. Been forced on us by the pandemic, but that's another thing. <laughs> Check out the class. Uh, I'm going to put up a link for people to sign up. And if you can't make it to this one, then you can definitely make it to the next one. I'm thinking October, maybe November, but we'll yeah. keep you posted. We'll have you guys back on to chat about it. Um, thank you for hanging out. Great Amazing to see you, Diane. Hang Always tight for a minute. <laughs> Always a blast. <laughs>